Right, so, um, I thought I'd just make a quick update video to say hi, how are we all doing? What's it been, like a month? I've been riding the bike once a week to go shopping, and that's it. And yeah, six kilometers a week on whatever bike I want to choose, yep. So I've been rotating the bikes around essentially, using a different one every time. Uh, just so they can get a little run maybe, don't know if that's doing them any good. Um, yeah, I hope we're all keeping busy and stuff. I've been quite, I don't know, I've been busy-ish. I mean, I'm quite behind on this bike video editing wise. Um, there was a dead zone where I didn't do anything, so I also didn't edit any videos for a while. But yeah, they're still coming, these videos and stuff, so it's, it's not too bad. There isn't like a massive week delay, essentially, or anything like that. So hopefully it's keeping everyone entertained, hopefully. Um, I'd like to thank everyone recently, subscribing and all that. This month has been, even though it's not been a very good month for the everything else, but one good thing is my subscriber count's gone up by, by about 40, which is... Really good. Um, thanks, thanks a bunch to everyone who's. Um, I think Hippo Drones gave me a couple of shout outs and stuff. That that took me over to 900 because I hit 900 and now it's just rolled up and yeah, it's uh, looking well. It's all right. It's actually gone up quite good. So that's not too bad. I've been keeping the uploads coming. I guess you could say, um, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm really behind on the editing of this bike. It's actually a lot more further on than what you see in the videos and stuff recently um, and then another video is coming out and the next video is going to be coming out it took a place just over a week or just under a week because I was waiting for parts and I had to do things on the bike like painting and stuff like that and that, that, that always takes time cleaning, painting, priming, painting, lacquering all that stuff takes time um, I've been doing other work as well on the other bikes so for instance the BMW I've been taking bits off that and servicing that bike up I would film it or I was thinking to film it but then it's a BMW G650, it's a rare, weird, rare, rare bike that no one owns and no one's going to be interested in watching me build that. But everything's been basically going fine on it, everything's been fine on it so far, except for one issue. Now this is my brake caliper. Now I had some difficulties with this thing, um, and this is the one I burned. So I burnt this when I was away on my trip. Uh, so I burnt this somewhere in Romania, going through the um, mountains and stuff, and it's partly seized and the piston is actually pretty had it as well but this this whole thing has been like burnt like this whole thing was smoking at one point and how hot does that have to get to get to, to a point where it's smoking well a couple of hundred degrees maybe so yeah um if you look here so yeah this is partly seized and i just couldn't get it to go and also if you look carefully here so there is this is where the pin comes through and I couldn't tap it out at all it wouldn't move I hammered it with a bigger hammer it should just come out really easily like with a screwdriver even just to push it out almost but this didn't want to move at all and I've had to drill a hole through here can I show you this hole uh, so I've drilled a hole through here there we go so I drilled a hole through here and it still didn't want to come out um, yeah um, both ends don't want to move like this this is pretty much drilled out completely but it's just so you know I've drilled it all out and stuff but it just wouldn't come um, I've tried everything it just will not budge at all it's completely like welded or melded onto it so goodbye caliper managed to get one second hand for quite reasonably ish and I bought a rebuild kit so I've just been putting the bits back in rebuilding it all and this one Oh, so much better than that one. Night and day difference. Night and day. So I'm going to put this back on the BMW today, basically. I'm waiting for parts of the other bike to come before I can do anything anyway. So, yeah. Um, keeping myself busy. Rebuilding this BMW bit by bit at a time. I would film it, but to move all the bikes out the way, because it's in the garage, move all the bikes out the way, put this bike back. It's a big faff. So, yeah. I've been keeping myself busy doing maintenance bits here and there. I've also been... Uh, Okay, bit of Minecraft. <laughs> been doing a bit of Minecraft again. It's been years since I played that, but you know, playing with um, online friends and all that, you know, again after all these years. And yeah, we did a couple of things. I did a couple of drawings in Minecraft. You might have seen. So yeah, there's uh, one. Did that one as a, an experiment. It seemed to go okay. So I drew a picture of my bike. I put a couple of pictures up. You can see the picture that it came from and the picture that I drew. Of course, the reason why I changed it from blue to red, 
because I was building above an ocean, so it wouldn't have been like an invisible bike almost. Um, yeah, that's it really. I've um, also been playing a lot of this particular game recently. And it's a good thing that it came out, I'm waiting for parts, so I can't do anything and the weather's... Well, it's sunny now, but the weather's gone to pot, hasn't it, recently? So, yeah. Uh, there's some more videos of this to come, so don't worry about that. And, yeah, just keeping myself busy. I hope everyone else is keeping themselves sane in this strange time that we're in. Yeah, it's just like an update, really, just to say I'm okay-ish. Um, I'm just carrying on, I guess, in this weird thing. Um, I'm waking up, I'm going to bed usual times, I'm waking up a bit strange times because I'm not using up maybe all my energy so I wake up a bit earlier. Like today I was up at 4 and I was like, oh it's 4am, what am I going to do? I'll, I'll, I'll do some training online uh, for the upcoming something. Um, yeah, I mean jobs and stuff, all this other stuff, like am I training for a job? Yes. Is it good to train? Yes, so it's good to learn. Will I have a job when everything reopens? Or when everything slowly reopens? Because it's not going to be like a light switch, everything was turned off. Boom. But it's not going to come back on as quick. It's going to be a slow turn. It's going to be a very slow turn. And when things do open up, this is why jobs are definitely going to be at risk. Uh, definitely going to be at risk. Because social distancing will continue. Um, and the, where it's going to hit the most... I think is like restaurants and stuff like that. Bars and restaurants is going to hit because you're going to have a restaurant, say for instance, that has 100 tables. 100 tables, two people each table. Fantastic. We can get 200 people in here all the time, no problem. But when social distancing comes on, maybe it will be every other table. You won't be able to sit at this table, you'll be able to sit at every other table. So restaurants will be working at half capacity. Half capacity means half the staff. Now, will the government continue to pay 80% wages? The business is open. We don't need to pay 80%. But you only hire, you only got 50% of the staff working. So where are then 50% staff going to go? They're going to leave. A lot of the staff are zero-hour contracts in restaurants and stuff like that. And they, they live off... They don't live off tips. They live off their wage. But they do make a lot of money in tips as well. So they're probably all hurting. And people like who work for EasyJet and stuff like that, they are earning 80% their wages... But I think they get a lot of stuff on commission. So 80% of their wages isn't actually their wages because they're getting a lot of money on commission. I can imagine waiters and waitresses um, on an evening they'd get maybe £10 of tips per evening. So you have to do five shifts a week. That's an extra £50 in your pocket. That's an extra £200 a month. Boom. All gone. And they're just on that 80%. So not even getting 100% of their wages. They're not even getting their tips. They're not even getting the extra bits here and there that they would get normally. Um, so yeah, it is a massive struggle for them. And staff like that will suffer the most in this sort of thing. But even myself, in my job, in my line of work, whatever I might be doing when this all ends, what's going to happen there? I don't know. I don't... You, you just can't... Pl I'll just plan for the best, hope for the best, plan for the worst and somewhere in the middle it meets whether or not that be there be pay freezes for the next five years or something like that saying right you got a job but there was gonna be a pay rise a pay freeze for the next three or we'll see how everything lands i can imagine stuff like that happening that's that's not a problem losing a job getting very redundant yeah that's gonna happen as well would it happen to me possibly it wouldn't surprise me but like i say plan for as if everything's going to go back to normal, but prepare at the same time for the worst and try not to worry about it. That's what I'm trying to do. Am I worried? What happens if I lose my job? What happens if this happens? What happens if X, Y, Z happens? <sighs> I'm still alive at the end of the day, so it's not too bad. A lot of people have, unfortunately, this time and everything. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go put my brake caliper on now. I'm not going to make a video on that because it's very boring. Anyway, hope we're all doing fine. I haven't been watching the news and I felt so much better for not watching it. It's really good. That's my tip. Can't be bothered to watch the news. Maybe get the highlights from someone else. Are we open yet? No. Cool. Don't tell me anymore. That's all I want to know. Are we going to continue as we're continuing? Yes. As soon as something changes, I'll find out. Someone will tell me. Oh, we're going to open again. Oh, hallelujah. 
or oh everything's staying the same fine okay I'll continue as I have been for the past month been a month I think I can carry on just miss riding the bike anyway that's all this is meant to be a quick video it's not I'm sorry hope you watched in times two thanks for watching stay sane yeah thanks